Muli na naman po tayong nagbabalik at sana'y may matututin na naman po kayo. I never made it. Hi, it's me, Mom Shellen, your pre-calculus teacher for this semester. And in this series of videos, you would be having the topic for this week, which is parabola. So we will also have video series for this, and I hope you stay tuned. Without further ado, let's begin with our topic for this week. So this video is uh, the introduction video. So you'll have uh, several videos and the first one is the introduction just like what i've said and then you'll also have a separate video for the continuation of the mathematical experiment and then you'll have a discussion on parts of a parabola we will be solving different cases we would have our word problems in our synchronous discussion and the instructions for your extended activities now let's begin with an idea when uh, you see this picture, uh, what do you remember? What do you recall? What do you think of? When I was young, I always thought that uh, these are drums for music. And I was wondering, why are there drums on the tower? Uh, are there giants playing music in uh, those drums? And I was wondering what their purpose was, not knowing that these are actually essential for our cell site signals. And then, here on the lower portion of our presentation, these are used nowadays in order to get a signal for our internet connection, for our cable, uh, TVs. But I wonder, why are we using parabola for these um, for these functions? So what's with the parabola? What are the characteristics? For us to be able to explore further, let's have our first mathematical experiment, which is paper folding. For this activity, we would be needing several items such as a ruler, a clean sheet of paper, and then you would also be needing your permanent marker or a pen if you want. Okay, so you could either use a permanent marker or a pen. Let's begin with the instructions. First, we have to draw a bold horizontal line approximately an inch from the bottom of the paper. So from the bottom of the paper, you have to draw a bold line. Now this is where you would use your permanent marker, okay? Now let's do this. So we draw a bold line. Okay. And then... Uh, create 10 to 12 evenly spaced markings on the line. So, using this ruler, let's create those markings. I would measure mine at 2 centimeters each, okay? So, it's up to you how you would do that. So, we could, you just continue marking those lines. Once you're done, just like we're almost done with this one, we now move to the next set of instructions it says that we have to fold the paper backwards along the line so we have this paper now let's fold it backwards folding it backwards along this line now you have to fold it backwards and crease it there we go we have this and the side okay it's folded backwards Next set of instructions. We have to draw a point approximately 2 inches above the line and label it point F. So I suggest you place it um, along the center. So from the line approximately 2 inches. So let's have this as our point and we label, label it as point F. Okay, now we have point F. Next, we fold the paper such that the markings on the line is directly above point F. After that, we have to press along the fold before reopening it. Let's use this marking, this marking here, and then we have to fold it such that the line, the marking is directly above point F. 
Again, this is the marking. We fold it such that it's directly above point F. And then we press along the fold. Press along the fold before reopening it. After that, it says that we have to line the crease. So let's line that crease using our pen. And where did I put my pen? Ah, there we go. So we line the crease. Along the fold, we draw the line. Yeah, there we go. And then it says that we have to repeat this for all the markings on the line. So I used the first marking, so we're done with that. And then the second one, now let's use this. Again, we fold the paper such that the marking is directly above the point. Okay? So we have the second marking going directly above the point and then fold hold along the fold once you open it you just have to draw along the fold there we go and it says that we have to repeat that for all the markings on the line so i'm done with the second let's move on to the third marking this is now the third marking Fold above and then open up and draw a line. Okay, that's what we would be doing. And then after folding several times, the curve of the parabola will start showing. And this is how it would start to look like. We now have several folds. I've already reached this, so let's continue. Um, second to the last, we fold along, fold along, and then we have to draw along the crease. Okay. It's somehow creating an illusion, optical illusion. It looks like uh, what artists use when they create perspectives on their drawings and then the last uh, last marking this is the last one last one put it there above the point and we draw along the crease and then the last sentence says that we have to highlight the curve that was formed using again our permanent marker now we will now be highlighting we will now be highlighting the curve that is formed okay so this is the curve that was formed All right and this is now our parabola this is the curve this is the highlighted curve, and this is our parabola. Let's see if it looks like there. This is now our parabola. So, uh, that's it for our first mathematical investigation. I'll see you on the next video for our mathematical investigation part 2. Thank you! I never made it.